First of all, I want to thank Scott for having me come and speak. Um, I have a little special place in my heart. I mean, this office was great to me uh, when I came here from the Bay Area. Um, and, and I see many faces that I know from the DA's office, and I see an equal number of faces that I know from law school. Um, and I also, some of you I may have seen around Davis, you know I do a lot of work with Davis, I do a lot of work with Lincoln, um, and George as well. Um, Scott kind of gave you, I'm not going to go back through you know, what I did to get here, just a couple points. Um, I, I suspect that most of you are here because you either want to, are interested in the DA's office, maybe doing trial work in some form or fashion. Um, I will tell you this, um, I had a notion that I wanted to be a trial attorney uh, very, very early on. I wanted to go, that's all I, I thought attorneys did, was just go to court and argue cases, and then I found out that you know, probably 15% of lawyers actually are trial attorneys, okay? Um, and so I initially, I, I initially was going to be a public defender. I wanted to be a public defender. My mom was a probation officer, and she said, why do you want to be a public defender? You can make more change and have more of an impact on society from the DA's office. You know, I, I kind of had this idea of what a prosecutor was, and then I got an opportunity to meet prosecutors, and I found that they were the same people who were on the other side. And, and, and then I realized, as I started looking into it a little bit more, I kind of realized that, hey, I probably can do more uh, for society uh, because your concern should be, if you go into the DA's office, your concern should be in doing justice, making sure justice is done. And those of us who have worked in the DA's office, we make sure justice is done for whom? For our victims, right? And for our communities, right? And that's what we're, we're, that's what we're doing.